Welcome back everyone. I don't even know if I'm going to upload this video, but if I do, you're going to hear me uh, be unsure of everything that I'm doing. So uh, I've got uh, Yogi here. He's my other cat that uh, I haven't posted any videos of. Uh, Paddington likes to take the spotlight from him. So yeah, he's uh, apparently camera shy. Anyhow, I just want to do a quick little video here of um, me getting back on track. To making my electrolysis chamber uh, for uh, generating oxygen and hydrogen for my Vernois furnace and uh, so here's just some of the parts and um, some of the things that uh, I've collected uh, as possible electrodes um, just because the most convenient thing to use is stainless steel um, you know I've got uh, a lot of stainless steel strips um bought things like this from the hobby store uh i can't remember what grade of stainless steel this is i was thinking 316 but um i i have to get back on kns's website um to get that information um but anyhow one of the interesting things i came across that I never thought of using for electrodes, but I wanted something uh, that was uh, stainless steel um, plates uh, with holes in it. And then one day I was out shopping and came across a steamer basket. And I remember always wanting these when I was a kid because I thought they looked like a deployable uh, satellite dish and just thought it was awesome. Um, or maybe like the Death Star, you know, thing. Anyhow, so these steamer baskets are all stainless steel. And that's a lot of pieces. So I figured I could use these as electrodes. So I took one apart. I've got all these pieces. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to flatten them down. But I figure what I will do is I've got all this PVC pipe that I bought. Uh, I've got actual pipe downstairs. These are just a whole bunch of the fittings. Um, but this will screw onto the bottom of that. And then, you know, I have a, let's see here if I can do this all one hand. I'll say you guys don't need to keep seeing that. Um, so I've got, uh, yeah, let me turn that the right way. I'm going to have this, uh, center part connected here to a three-way um, connector. Um, there's some more pieces I have to buy and I'm going to get four inch diameter tubing that will connect to four chambers. So it'll be like five total chambers, uh, two for hydrogen, two for oxygen. Uh, and there's going to be a larger diameter center chamber that I can fill with uh, water to maintain uh, adequate pressure between the two uh, chambers that are delivering the oxygen and hydrogen feed. Um, and my original idea for that was a smaller tube and I was going to connect, uh, I believe that's a two inch diameter tube to a three inch diameter tube. Um, and I could just keep it open and dump water inside uh, some ice as well to kind of maintain a temperature that's not going to melt the PVC after running for a while. Um, I may end up getting tech coolers eventually to possibly handle that. I, I don't, I've never messed with a tech cooler before, so I don't know how well they'd work in maintaining a constant temperature uh, that doesn't exceed um, a certain amount. Obviously, you don't want to run it on just cold water because that's not going to work that great. But anyhow, I've also got stainless steel wire and 19 gauge. Um, I don't know. I figured I could use this for like prototyping uh, or even just use it uh, between a couple of rods. And that way you get more space. But I, I think these plates will be good. Um Ideally, I would like to have thicker stainless steel. This uh, appears to be, let me see, 
I know it's not 16th inch. It's probably about 32nd inch. Yeah, 132nd inch uh, plate. Um, but uh, yeah, what I'm planning on doing is taking one of these stainless steel strips here. Or, let's see, I just had a bigger one. I guess it was this. Sorry, moving my camera all around to make you guys throw up. Um, yeah, I've got a larger strip I just had because um, these wider strips do fit into here. So I figured I could place bends, uh, drill a hole in the bottom. Oh, there's the other one. That's where I was hiding. So, yeah, I figured I could drill a hole in the bottom there where I can put a bolt. This would be bent to 90 degrees with the hole in it. And uh, that's my camera trying to range find or whatever. Um, but yeah, that's what would hold the um, electrode in place. And then I could attach uh, you know, the anode and the cathode uh, to the positive and negative leads to my power supply. Um, and I figured I'd stack these I don't know. I, I don't know if I'm going to flatten them out, uh, but I'm probably going to have to bend them at a certain degree because I want to take up as much space as possible within the chamber. And basically it's just going to be, you know, a strip that goes up with these plates staggered uh, evenly on one side. And then for the side that's generating uh say this is going to be the, for the oxygen and then the other side is going to be for the hydrogen and it's, you know it's going to be pretty much the same setup um i'm going to use potassium hydroxide as my electrolyte i don't remember everything uh you know, it's been a while since i've done any research into this but anyhow this video is getting a little bit long and uh but yeah I, you know there's a lot of advantages of using uh, potassium hydroxide to sodium hydroxide um, and of course I don't want to use like anything with chloride in it because then that generates chlorine gas but uh, anyhow yeah I've, I've got all this stainless steel um, and I've got more I've got sheets so I can cut these up and uh, I believe uh, yeah 0.18 oh what's this one here oh wow this is only 659 uh, yeah, 0.18. So this might even be a little bit thicker than uh, these. So yeah, I've got I've got options. So anyhow, <clears throat> I'm going to be getting this thing built finally, and uh, that way uh, it's at least going to be two chambers of oxygen, two chambers of hydrogen that'll connect into um, tubes that will run to a torch head. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully that'll generate enough gas. Uh, if not, then I'll have to create uh, more chambers, and uh, I'll probably have to get another power supply or two, three. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's where I'm at. So I guess I can call this my Vernwell furnace update slash. If this does not generate enough gas, uh, then a massive electrolysis chamber for, I don't know, maybe chlorite or chlorate cells. Uh, who knows? But, uh, yeah. Uh, I thought I would at least create the video just to show these things at the bare minimum. Because, I mean, this is a lot of stainless steel and a lot of surface area you know, thanks to those holes. And so... Anyhow, I just want to do a quick little video on that. If you watch the entire video here, I appreciate it. Uh, you know, I've got horrible production value, so at least it's New Year's Day, and uh, I've got the rest of the year to actually make those better videos that I keep promising uh, to do. So have a good one, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.